for the sign of Aries hello and welcome to my channel so this ace of wands it's about new beginnings very positive ones they're in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work or career but it could be romance family friends and if you're having a difficult time now just know that things things are going to get better very soon with this ace of wands you see how it's up in the clouds it's just not actually it's just not up there it has burst up into the clouds so very soon things will be getting better if they're not already uh, this card is about upbeat optimistic and being hopeful about the future with a really good cause so you probably start to feel really energetic and very positive or very soon you'll be feeling that way this ace it tells you that now is a good time to start something new now it's paired with this eight of swords now the eight of swords is about holding yourself back because you're afraid probably afraid of moving into the future or because you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation or for no reason at all no reason at all this man has these eight swords surrounding him and there's a fire that's behind him and it's coming towards him but he's just stuck there and he can he can easily put one foot in front of the other and run <laughs> or either walk real fast but he's afraid to move so think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be Aries so basically coming up in May You might find that you're, you're holding yourself back. You could be stuck in fear. And just for no reason at all. So once you get, get out of your head and put one foot in front of the other and walk and stop being feeling so paralyzed like a lot of us are feeling these days because of this crazy virus going on. So once you do that, once you get out of your head, get, get out of being stuck. Take off the blindfold, Aries. Like this man has blindfold over his eyes too. So take those off. Put one foot in front of the other and walk or run. Do something. Okay, because you've got a lot of great new beginnings here. If you just reach out and grab them. Great new beginnings with this Ace of Wands. And things could turn around for you very soon. Very soon. But you got to take action. Yep, get out of your head. So if you're dealing with someone, why don't we take a look at how they see you? Now they view you as the Three of Cups, and it's with the World card. Now the Three of Cups is a beautiful card. You see these three people, they're jumping up in the, look like they're jumping up in the air. They're just jumping, and they're so happy. And they're, um, they're toasting, they have wine or champagne in their cups. And they're so happy, they don't even realize they're, they're about to land into a lake. So, this Three of Cups is beautiful. It's a card about reunions. Now, it's reunion in the broadest sense. Could be running back into someone. Or meeting up with someone. Or something that you've been away from for a long time some type of reunion now it's a very happy reunion it's very upbeat it can also mean celebration your home someone that you care about such as celebrating a new baby wedding or some type of happy occasion but for the most part this card is someone returning a long-lost love um, it's paired with the world card which is interesting now this world card is about completion. You've worked hard and you're almost to the finish line. 
in some way, don't quit now because you're really close. You're really close. You're almost in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Work should be good. And it's probably that you're working way too hard for far little recognition and money when you get the world card. And if this is the case, make sure you toot your own horn. May, um, blow your own horn. Just to make sure that the, that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So, these two guys are interesting paired together. Now, is this a past person that you're, you're dealing with, Aries? Because it's saying that you, you have completed a cycle with this person that's trying to return. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, he, the, the world card, you've in, you're, you're ending a journey. You've ended it. The cycle is done. The chapter in that book is closed. It's closed. It's over. But then the... You're celebrating a, a, a past person. So they see you as very happy, rejoicing, and you completed some type of cycle. Now we'll get, we'll uh, clarify more of this because it's kind of vague, but let's see what the rest of the reading says. Then maybe we'll get more clarification. So that's how they see you. Now let's move on over for now and take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as the Two of Cups. Now this is a very romantic partnership, but it's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. Things are going really well, and you should be feeling more than usually loved when you get this Two of Cups. It's paired with the Hermit card. The Hermit card is a spiritual card. It can be and could have something to do with institutions, large organizations. Um, you may be in the frame of mind that you need some time, of, time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is a card about trying to do the right thing, maybe. Yeah, trying to do the right thing. But just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you, personally. And not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Well, it's interesting because uh, this Hermit card, when it talks about love and relationships, a romance from your past will be rekindled. But you're going to ask, have to ask yourself, is that what you really want? Because it looks like you're in hermit mode. Romance is usually not a priority for hermits or feeling like a hermit. So basically you see your person as the ideal partner with this two of cups there. You see them as a very romantic love that can possibly go to proposal, proposal, marriage, but just not right now. Not right now, they need to get rid of some baggage, clear their head, clear their mind, and this could be a past person. We got two past cards in here, past people cards, past person cards in this reading. So, so um, let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's happening, Aries. So we got justice, and then we got six of pentacles. Justice. It deals with the idea of the idea of karma and law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a result of our own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results 
of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, if you're involved in a court case, which you're probably not, uh, so I don't know if, I, if all the courts are closed, but I, I, I guess they're still open. But if you're involved in something like a court case and you get the justice card, it's likely to be, to be resolved in a large degree in your favor. Okay, now this justice is with the Six of Pentacles, which is a term for the better. Particularly with regards to money, when you hear the word Pentacles, that's money, coins, cash, finance. Term for the better. It's one of the more positive Pentacle cards in the tarot. It speaks, of, it speaks about equality, fairness, the nature of life. Um, they're likely to be heading into a positive cycle, not just a positive time. Not just a positive day, but a whole positive cycle. This card is about generosity, meaning that you could be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. So that's why it's happening. Justice and Six of Pentacles. There's been something brought to light. There's some clarity. The truth has finally come out with justice here. And with the Six of Pentacles, you experience prosperity. Someone could be giving you something of value. Or you could just be experiencing a darn good relationship. So let's make sense of this reading. We'll go back to the present time. Now, the present time, we talked about the Ace of Wands. It's with the Eight of Swords. So, you start out around May. It could be towards the end of April. Um, just feeling stuck in your head with these swords here, the Eight of Swords. But once you realize that you can actually put one foot in front of the other and run like hell, or just walk really fast or do something, then you experience these great new beginnings that this Ace of Wands is bringing you. Yeah, great positive new beginnings. A lot of great accomplishments. All right. And um, then your person, they're seeing you as, like I said, this, this, uh, this reunion card. They're seeing you as, um, as someone they want to celebrate with. Someone that they're very happy with. They see you as a, also as a friend, a great friendship. They're, so, they're really happy to be around you. And this could be a person that's returning to you if you're not involved with someone already. Someone is coming back because the reunion is heavy in this reading. So, this past person um, comes back or tries to come back. Now, you could feel like you completed this cycle with this person because there's a world card. It's the end of a journey. Um, but they see you as someone that they could be really happy with, but they see you ending this journey. They see you just closing the book on this chapter. Now, you see them as thinking you're the ideal person, you're the ideal partner, and yeah, you see them as thinking that with the lover's card, you see them feeling that you're the, you're the perfect mate there with the lover's card, and you see them, um, It looks like with the Hermit card, they're, they're walking away, it looks like, just to clear their head, clear some, clear the baggage. Uh, did you reject them? Because you see them as just going off to themselves. Yeah, um, like I said, this is the other 
romance from your past, romance from your past being rekindled, but it's not a priority. So you see them as somebody from your past and you're not going to make them priority. And you, yeah, this hermit card, you see them as, hmm. You see them as the ideal partner, or you, or they see you as the ideal partner. But with the hermit card here, you just, you know, the hermit card is not interested in, in a connection. But you see them wanting this with you because they think you're the ideal partner. And why it's happening is because the justice card is here. Uh, you feel you have the right to close this chapter. And it brings you a lot of prosperity once you close the door. Yep. Once you close this chapter, your money picks up. Everything picks up. You could move on to a, a great relationship, a brand new love that, that was better than what you had in the past. But um, they see you as, like I said, really happy. They're happy to be with you. But you close the chapter with the world card. I know I'm repeating myself. I just want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. And then you see them with the lover's card as uh, thinking this is the ideal, you're the ideal partner. But you see them as walking away to clear their head. Maybe they, they're in disbelief that they couldn't get back with you. So you go off to some new beginning. Remember we talked about a new beginning in the present time. And you didn't take this past person back. You got justice. Something's making you feel really great that you didn't take this past person back. You feel like you had the right to do so. You feel like um, justice has prevailed. You see how she's in her green dress. She's got her fists up in the, in the, in the air. Yeah, you feel like justice has prevailed. You did the right thing. You didn't let the person come back from the past. And you got these new beginnings. We talked about in the present. And your money looks re it takes off in a really great way. Like I said, someone could be giving you money. Beneficiary. You're about to be the beneficiary of something of value. Or you just run into a really good relationship. So that was kind of long, but I wanted to um, make sure you understood what I was trying to, uh, what I was picking up on these um, these cards, because they, they kind of like have some twists and turns, and then there's two return cards, two people from the past coming back, or two cards from the past, past return, and the hermit one, it's about a past returning, but you're just, it's a decision. Like, do you want this or don't you want this? And it looks like you don't because romance is not on your mind when you're the hermit. So that kind of gave me, a, threw a little curveball at me because I know the hermit is, it's kind of like a loner. So Aries, I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. Hope you enjoy the reading. Hope you enjoy the reading.